Hello, hi, welcome to another short mindfulness practice that we're going to explore today together. Today we're going to explore looking at a sort of gratitude practice, a practice of being thankful. So I've got this card here, it says I am thankful. And this is, um, it says find gratitude at the bottom. This is an idea you can do later after we've done the meditation practice if you want. It says you will need paper and pen, markers or crayons. Before you go to sleep, what's that could be before you go to sleep, whenever you want in the day, think about somebody or something you love or something wonderful that happened to you. Maybe you were thankful for being with a relative, sharing a family meal or making a new friend. Write or draw about it. Um, you can also ask a grown-up to write it down for you if you can't do the writing yourself. And then it says, take three soft, slow, mindful breaths and feel thankful. Keep the gratitude message or drawing beside your bed. Look at it again when you wake up. It can remind you of the good things in your life. I see that's quite nice to do it for bed as you're doing it before bed. But you, know, you can do it at any point in the day and you can still stick it behind your bed that there's a picture. And you can see on the um, front of the card there, the different pictures of the things, grateful for his bike, grateful for his cat, grateful for, it looks like he might be grateful for his granny, grateful for his friends. So just come in to have a little think. So that's something you can maybe do later. Some other really nice gratitude practices you can do, maybe with your family, is a gratitude jar where you get an empty jar and every day, you and maybe the, everyone in your family writes on a little bit of paper something that you're grateful for and then you fold the bit of paper up and you put it in the jar and then at the end of every day you can pick everyone can take a turn in picking out one thing out of the jar and reading what it is that uh that someone was grateful for that day and then it can things kind of build into a really nice thing if you get a jar for a jar full of gratitude and it's a really lovely lovely practice to have and to do with your family but what we're going to come and do we're just going to come and do a short quietening down sitting practice where we're going to come and sit in gratitude so we're going to come and think about something that we're really thankful for and we're going to notice how that makes us feel in our body and we're just going to come and rest in that so sometimes this can be a really nice practice to do sometimes to switch if we've been feeling maybe if we're feeling a little bit um you know, not so not so good about things, feeling a little bit sad or feeling frustrated about something, it can be really nice to remind ourselves of the things that we are grateful for, the things that we're really lucky to have. And we can just take a short moment to come and sit in the awareness of that. So bring our attention to that and then um, it can help us feel better. So let's come and let's come and try that together and see how we go. So let's come to again find your comfortable seat. And, you know, when we're coming to find our comfortable seat, it's great to be able to sit upright. And if you need a wall or something to, to lean on to help you sit upright, that's fine as well. You can do that when you're at home or you can come and be sitting on your next to the sort of sofa. So you've got a little bit of support in your back. So just finding your comfortable seat, cross-legged, kneeling on a chair with a wall, however that may be. Again, just coming to have a little sense of the sit bones and having an awareness of this downward, downward movement of the sit bones, the weight of the body connecting down to the ground. And then let's bring our awareness to the spine, the backbone, lengthening out of the pelvis, crown of the head moving towards the sky. You can even have a thought of that golden thread coming out of the crown of the head, helping us to Sit nice and tall. And imagine this, imagine that little thread giving us some support, keeping us nice and tall. And the shoulders, just allowing them to be relaxed and soft. You can come to gently close the eyes or if you prefer to keep them open, just keeping the gaze soft and lowered. And the hands can come and rest in whatever way they're comfortable on the lap, on the knees. Taking a moment to notice how you're feeling today. 
noticing any physical sensations in the body. Maybe you've got a, you can notice sensation in your tummy or you can notice the sensation of the breathing, so you're breathing in and out, physical sensations. And then you can also notice how you're feeling. Maybe you're feeling really excited about something today. Maybe you're feeling a bit sad today. Maybe you're feeling cross about something. Or maybe you're just feeling, maybe you're not sure what you're feeling. Remember, there's no right or wrong, wrong answer. We're just coming to notice how things are right now. Okay, now I'd like you to to think about bringing to your mind someone or something or something you've done that you're really grateful for. You might think of someone you really love, your friends, maybe your mum or your dad or your brother or sister, someone in your family, or maybe your pet. Or maybe something that you've done that you're really grateful they've done it or they have been able to been able to do something. Maybe you're really grateful for the park and all the trees and plants and that you get to go to the park. Or maybe you're really grateful for being able to get on a bus and that bus takes you somewhere. You don't have to walk all the way. Whatever it is, it can be. It doesn't have to be a really big thing. We can be really grateful for small things too, and that's a really important thing to remember. Being grateful for the sunshine when it's shining, or the rain that it waters the plants. So whatever it is that you're bringing into mind for yourself, just taking a moment to think about that. And then notice how, when you think about how grateful you are about that thing or that person, whatever it is, come to notice how that feels in your body. So we try and come away from the thinking about it, from making the story of it, and just come and try and notice the feeling of it. How do you feel the gratitude in your body? If you can feel that sensation, maybe you feel it around your heart, maybe in your tummy, maybe somewhere totally different. Maybe see if you can allow that feeling, that felt sense of gratitude to of thankfulness kind of spread through your body. Again, it's almost like we're bathing ourselves in this feeling of gratitude. So just like when we get in at the bath and we totally let ourselves be covered by water kind of imagine that feeling of gratitude as being a little bit like water. We can just let that, that feeling wash over us completely, over the whole of your body. If you've had your eyes closed, you can come to gently open your eyes. Come and just take a moment to notice how it feels to sit in gratitude. I hope you enjoyed that practice. I hope maybe if, if you were feeling not so good, or maybe you just feel like quite often we're feeling like I'm not sure how I'm feeling, but maybe now you have a bit of a sense of 
yeah, that feels nice in my body. Gratitude feels feels like a good in my body. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Let's bring our hands in front of our hearts. Let's bow to each other. Namaste. Nogaha. And take care, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye.